Hey, you're Belinda. Are you thinking of starting a small business and want to know the legal steps to do so in California? Or maybe you already own a small business and you're trying to figure out, am I legally protected? What happens if I get sued? Who do I call? Well, today you're in luck because today I am sitting down with Mel, also known as the lawyer lifter, the founding attorney of Uplift Law. And we're going to talk a little bit about her, her background, what got her into the field, as well as all the different services that she offers for small businesses in and around your Belinda. So if you're an entrepreneur or small business owner, this episode is for you. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. So today I am here with Mel, the founding attorney of Uplift Law. So Mel, thank you for welcoming me into your office today. It's definitely been a long time coming. We've been talking back and forth online a lot, yeah. so I'm glad we finally got together. <laughs> yeah. So first question I always have is before we get into the business side of things, I want your Belinda to get to know you a little bit better. So can we talk a little bit about who you are growing up, everything really up until when you made that business? Yeah. So. Actually, I grew up in Yorba Linda and I had done everything in my power not to stay in Yorba Linda, but here I am um, back in Yorba Linda. I have been in practice for business law and employment for the past 14 years. Okay. And my business, Uplift Law PC, specializes in small business. And I couldn't think of a more ironic, but more than coincidence homecoming than to be back in my hometown since all we do is facilitate uh, small businesses okay so when you talk about kind of moving back out of or out of your belinda and then back in what kind of drew you into your belinda again once you moved out well there is such a boom and so much uniqueness in the different small businesses that are coming out of your belinda and I love in general, that's what Uplift Law does, is we just are attracted to finding and helping small businesses in all stages of their life. And here in Yorba Linda, everybody is turning their passion basically into livelihood, into legacy. Yep. Okay. And then let's go back a little bit in terms of growing up on the side of things. So if you... Before you even got into law, is that something you always wanted to do when you were growing up? You said, I want to be a lawyer, or what were you thinking of when you were kind of growing up getting into it? I weirdly thought when I was a child in your Belinda, mm -hmm. actually down the hall in my room, that I was going to yep. be a lawyer. Um, but I didn't know that I was going to be this type of lawyer, which is a business lawyer. Um, okay. But I have always championed the underdog and the David versus Goliath. Got it. Okay. And then with that was, I mean, did someone in your family become a lawyer? How did you, how was that kind of on the top of your head at, always growing up as I want to become a lawyer? Y you know, what's funny is that I also come from a Filipino culture okay. and I'm, that is very strange okay. <laughs> to, <laughs> to um, yep. have a lawyer because it's really dominated by the medical field and the engineering field. Mm -hmm. But um, I love to be in the courtroom. I love to speak. I love to write. I love to be on my toes and just everything in my path led me to, I'm going to be a lawyer, yep. but also a specific lawyer, which would be business. Okay. And then lastly, before we get into a little bit more of the weeds about what you do in the business side of things, I know there's kind of a separate side, especially on social media, you advertise a lot in terms of uplift lawyers. So can you kind of explain what that means in terms of your other passions? I know you do lifting and things like that. I've seen on your Instagram. How does that been incorporated into really what you started doing here? Yeah. So actually uplift law is sort of like a double entendre. Okay. Um, my first client, actually, I went back to my roots, like your Belinda is my hometown, the fitness industry. That's my roots. Those were my first clients. And actually you've showcased functional fitness okay, and yep. Espinosa baseball. Mm -hmm. And I am a nationally ranked power lifter. I've been so since 2015. So when I thought about uplift, we uplift the client mm -hmm. and you know, it's a nod 
to my roots in powerlifting. Okay. And then you recently also have a kid as well. So you're kind of incorporating yes. that into it at the same time. Yes, it is. So I power lift. I run a business. <laughs> I am still a practicing lawyer, even though I own Uplift Law and I'm managing my first time foray into motherhood and Got he's 13 it. months. <laughs> yeah. So needless to say, you have your hands full basically yes. right now. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go ahead and actually get to the business side of things. So you've kind of mentioned it a little bit. You're kind of specializing in small business. So yes. can you explain if there's a small business out there, what are the type of service that you offer that really is going to help them out? So in general, what we do is we basically partner with you. Um, if you are just saying to yourself, I want to start my business, we start that up. Okay. We discuss with you whether you want to be an LLC, whether you want to be a corporation, and what in your mind do you see for yourself? You know, Do you want to have different types of um, industries within your business? So we stand you up, we help you with that business plan, we basically build that legal infrastructure around you to succeed. Um, and then ultimately our relationship is in perpetuity because your entire reason for starting a business is to be in perpetuity. Yeah. So we start up, we do your contracts, we analyze contracts, we establish those relationships you wanna have uh, with the contracts. We do employment compliance. So we ensure that you are compliant with California's very strict yep. laws related <laughs> yep. to employers mm -hmm. and we do intellectual property so we you, everybody out there has a brand and an identity well you want to make sure and protect that with yeah. patents trademarks copyright and our biggest thing is we litigate yep. so you know not notorious big said mo money mo problems <laughs> Unfortunately, litigation is just something that every small business will have to deal with, either to go and litigate or to defend. Okay. And so someone is thinking about starting a small business. When is the best time for them to reach out to someone like you then? Always. I mean, we run consultations and we just want to hear your idea. I want to know your story. Okay. So I'm not going to ask you anything legal at all. That's my <laughs> job. I just need to know what do you do? What do you want to do? Okay. And then we go from there. Okay. And then you kind of talked about all these different things you're doing in terms of helping a small business. What is probably the most, I would say, important thing in your mind for these small business when it comes to making sure they're protected? I would say you need to create your entity. Okay. You always want, you don't want to put your name out there while you're doing business. You want to have that protection of an entity. And California actually has very favorable business laws for business owners. But California is also extremely strict <laughs> in compliance on the employment side. Now you're going to tell me it's just going to be me, but here's the thing you're gonna be successful. Otherwise, why even start? So when you bring in that success, you can't do it all on your own. So then I would also say plan for your expansion and plan for employment issues coming up. Okay, and then in terms of being available and someone being able to get a hold of you, if they are in business and they're working with you, how fast is response time usually? Well, when Uplift Law was birthed in 2018, we mastered the real-time uh, response. So we guarantee a 24-hour response and you'll always get a hold of a lawyer. Okay. So the way that we work is whatever is your fancy, DM, text, <laughs> phone, email, pigeon, we're there. <laughs> Got it. Now, in terms of uh, talking about DMs, uh, what is the best way for someone to get a hold of you? I know you have um, Instagram. What's usually the best way for people to kind of start that relationship with you? Well, you can send an email to info at upliftlaw.net, but truly we get inquiries through Instagram, okay. Uplift Law, or my own personal Instagram, which is linked to Uplift Law, which is Lawyer Lifter. Okay. And then the final question that I always like to ask is why your Belinda? So we kind of talked a little bit about you coming back here, but what is it about your Belinda that really drew you back here so much? 
Well, I think the fact that it's the last stance and we talked about it, it mm -hmm. is hometown, it's Americana, it's still, you can still leave your door unlocked and your car unlocked. And the thing is, it is so family oriented and so pro business, small business. And that really drew me back to your Belinda. Okay. Well, Mel, thank you for joining me and explaining to everybody a little bit more about your business today. I always love hearing these different stories about small businesses inside your Belinda. So for everybody back at home, until next week, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next show. Bye, everybody.